is going on people it's your boy daddy mac and welcome back to the final battle we're using with this team in pokemon sword and shield i have to think about that a little bit because it's not our final wi-fi battle now we are against walker who's bringing a pretty cool team frostmoth togekiss charizard golurk cloister which we saw last battle and him on top that reminds me if you guys have not seen the last battle Make sure you watch it either, either right now and come back and watch this one or after the video. It was a really good battle. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below on who the MVP of this battle was or is going to be. And subscribe to my channel for weekly Pokemon contents. Now we got Walker, who is probably going to want to start with Golurk. So because of the Golurk, I want to start Golisopod. I know he has, he, he's probably not even carrying the the rock type move with uh, Golurk, so if that doesn't really worry me. What does worry me, however, is a, a self smash Oyster, so gotta be careful with that. Walker has the Eevee uniform, which is cool. Final battle with this team. Wish us luck. We, we honestly have been doing really good with this team. Okay, so Charizard's gonna come out. That's perfectly fine. I'm honestly just going to go ahead and click Liquidation. That's all I'm gonna do. I love this music. It pumps me up all the time. Air Slash, that's not, it's gonna hurt. Don't get me wrong, but we should be able to take it. Okay, there you go. That's what I I can't believe we flinched. Aqua Jet, just because. Probably gonna air slash me. I'm gonna get emergency exit it out. You know I get knocked out. It's a crit. Alright, so that's how we're gonna play this game, huh? Okay, so we're gonna go Raichu, because Raichu outspeeds the Charizard. He does have the Golurk in the back. But because of that, we're gonna reveal that we have Surf on this thing. So just go Surf. Because if you switch into Golurk, Golurk is gonna, it's gonna suffer a little bit. You can withdraw. I'm still going to go Surf. And this is exactly why we have Surf on this right too. Go Surf. Golurk goes down in one hit. Beautiful. Again, that's why we run Surf on the right too. I like this music a lot. Leave a like if you guys like this music as much as I do. Alright, Hitmontop comes out, intimidates me. What does this thing want to do is my question. It, I'm not really, really scared of it. I'm going to go Bronzong here. And I'm going to take this opportunity to go for a Reflect. Because most of my opponent's team is physical. At least I think from Team Preview, right? No. Special, 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 special. We need to set up a light stream then. That's gonna be the, the priority that we have to set up. So dig. That's perfect because we get a free turn. We're let's say, right? I'm gonna attempt to self rock given that token kiss is gonna suffer. Charizard's gonna get knocked out. Frostmoth is also going to suffer. So self rock is, is gonna be the move here. And honestly, I'm not even scared of this him on top, so I'm just going to set up a future site. Whatever's going to come in is going to suffer a little bit. Man, hit, seeing a hit on top is really, really nice. I actually am thinking about using one. Technician and triple kick. Close combat. Does it? It hurts, but not, not really. Defense goes down, future sight goes up. So in two turns, something's gonna get hit. This is a perfect up, so light screen, right? Yeah, light screen. Or reflect. We'll go reflect. You can go for another close combat, you can do whatever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and use a reflect. And next, we're gonna set up a light screen. If you want to stay in with this thing, that's completely up to you. Go for a light screen here. 
that does nothing. You're at minus three. Even though I'm not, I, I'm in his nature and 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 uh, future sight's not the best move to use on an impish nature Pokemon, it's gonna hurt. And it actually knocks you out. Wow. So you can't go into Charizard anymore. You can't go into Frostmoth, but Frostmoth is gonna suffer a little bit. Togekiss is gonna take some damage. Cloyster comes up next. You're probably gonna want a Shell Smash, and that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna take the opportunity and go with champ. Okay, boys. This is it. This is gonna be the sweep right here. I'm gonna go with champ, click cheese strike. Well, I'm gonna go with champ, click dynamax, cheese strike, and that's almost enough to put my opponent away. Think long and hard about what you're gonna do because. Alright, Brian Brown's switching out. Here comes the Machamp. You're probably gonna want a Shell Smash or something like that, right? Hydro Pump. I'm, I'm gonna take that like a champ. Literally. Do I even need a Dynamax? I, I probably should. Yeah, um. I feel bad. Nah, it's a game. If you cry, you cry. With Frost Cloyster, here comes a Togekiss. I knew it. The next attack is gonna hurt, but I should be able to take it. Dynamax! I love this. I love this attack so much. I think this is the funnest team I've ever used, to be honest. And I'm going all the way back from Aura. Before I, I, before I even thought about becoming a YouTuber. Cheese Strike, that's gonna, that's not gonna hurt him a lot, but at least we get our critical hit ratio up. That's a critical hit. That did absolutely nothing. We're getting pumped. I'm gonna go for a Rock Fall here. He's gonna Dynamax also, so the next attack is gonna hurt. Probably gonna go for a max energy. That's my thought, that's my guess. I know Token Kids, Dynamax especially, is a really good thing in BGC. I've never seen one before. And it doesn't look like you have all the candies on it. Starfall, that's gonna hurt. That hurt. But, too bad going down after this. So here comes the Misty Surge. Alright, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish this thing off with a rock ball. Oh, boy! I think we just won, to be honest. Because he, he does have the cloister in the back. I can just knock that out with a G strike or a uh, rock ball. This is turn number two, right? Yeah, this is turn number two. When Sword and Shield was first released, I said to myself that the screens were going to be a game changer in this generation, and they, they very much are. Charizard comes out, just knocks itself out, because of the Stealth Rock. That is why Stealth Rock is such a really good move in, this, in, in all Pokemon generations. Next is going to be the either the Cloyster or the Frostmoth. Frost Moth, whatever comes in, is still going to take a lot of damage from the Stealth Rock. And we pretty much got this wrapped up. Gigantamax from the champ, ladies and gentlemen. Slap that like button if you've watched all three battles and love Machamp as much as I do. If you guys want to use Machamp, feel free to use Machamp. He is a beast, especially with the screen set up. I thought this EV spread was going to fail because we're max attack and max speed with the nap, or not speed, but max HP with the nap in nature. Oh, come on, what are you going to do? Frostmoth comes out. That's going to take half. Woo, baby! Okay. We're going to max G strike so we can maximize the critical hits that we can get and call it a, and call it a battle. 
Don't get me wrong, my opponent has a really, really good team. I just outplayed him. Icy wins. Gonna lower my speed more than what it already is. That's perfectly fine. I'm not fast anyways. Two strikes. Boy! Frostmoth goes down also. It's a crit! It's a critical hit. Frostmoth goes down. Floris is going down next turn. If my opponent DCs, it's a it's a W and it's, we're kinda get a video there. We've been recording for 10 minutes. It's gonna be a little bit of a short video. Cloister. And then this is where the song starts. This is where it gets good. All the fans cheering for my champ. We've only lost one Pokemon, and that was Glossopod. Cross shop, no guard. It's gonna crit right here, watch. Our reflect is still up, so we're gonna take absolutely no damage from this cloister, no matter what it goes for. Reflect and light screen for Phila. We just molly walked my opponent's team. Razor Shell. Why are you running Razor Shell and Hydro Pump? I don't know, but our defense goes down. Not that it matters anymore because this is a critical hit. Super effective. I told you. I told you. That is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. This battle hyped hype me up. Leave that like button if this battle hyped you up as much as hy it hyped me up. But that's going to be it for this battle and for this video, actually. So make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Comment down below on who the MVP of this battle was because I think it was my chap again. And subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a battle. And I'll see you guys next time. You guys be safe out there. And have a great day.